So this is my second Super Mario Maker level. I decided to call it the Urban Adventure. Originally I was going to remake a level for Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for the Sega Genesis, which I did kinda do, but I decided to expand the level a bit. This level in the game was called Round 2-3, The Streets. Click the link in the description if you want to see the actual level in action from the Moonwalker game. In the actual game, you couldn't actually go inside any of the houses or go to any other area. This area was pretty much it. So in this level I created, there are many sections to this level. In order to enter these different sections, you need a specific item to enter first. And that specific item will help you get another item, and that item will help you get another item, and so on until you find the final item, which is needed to enter the final area in this level. Oh, and this level is pretty difficult. Even I have troubles beating it sometimes. So I decided to use the underground theme, since in the actual game, the level took place during the night time. So we can't enter the sewers yet, since there's a block blocking the way. You don't really have to come up here, but there's an item up here that's going to help you in a bit. And there it is. So originally, I made this level a lot harder than what it is now. But I thought it was a bit too tough, so I decided to make it a little bit easier. But this level is still quite challenging though. So I added this shouting sound effect all over this level, since it sounds a lot like MJ. And this sound effect is from the Moonwalker game. But if you play this level, you won't be hearing it, since it's a custom sound. So this is the first building. We can't really do that much right now, since we don't have the power up that's needed in order to free Yoshi. So we're just gonna leave for now. So let's go see what's going on next door. So this is a Thwomp's house. We can't really do much here, since we don't have the correct power up that's needed. So we'll be back later. Let's try to sneak into their attic though and see what's going on in there. Alright, so we found the first item. So now that we have the super mushroom, we can now break the blocks that were blocking the entrances to the sewers. And it looks like we can't go this way yet, since the piranha plant is blocking the way. So we'll be back later. So let's go and see what's going on on the right side. Maybe there's something useful there. Alright, so let's take the path with the coins, since we can't go straight forward because of all the munchers. Alright, so it looks like we found our second item, the fire flower. Alright, so it looks like the path up here is blocked, so we'll be back later. So now that we have the fire flower, I bet we can defeat the piranha plant that was blocking the path earlier. Damn, I have no idea how that didn't hit me, but oh well, huh. <laughs> Don't try climbing the vines back up here, or else you won't be able to re-enter this area later on again, if you need the item again. And there goes our next power up, the cape feather. So now that we can get past blocks that are blocking the way, I bet we could go rescue the Yoshi that was locked inside the house we went into earlier. Just watch out for that Goomba, because if you get hit, you're gonna have to go get another cape feather. So if you accidentally lock yourself in here, just grab the P-switch by using Yoshi's tongue. So it looks like Yoshi can step on munchers. Hmm. Well I wonder what you could do now. Yup. Now let's go back to that room where all the munchers were at.
Alright, so our next item should be over here. Alright, so that was a glitch. I don't know why Bowser Jr. fell from another floor. I played this level dozens and dozens of times, and that's never happened before. So I wonder why that happened now. So yeah, here goes our next item, the Buzzy Beetle Hat. So now that we have this item, I wonder how we could possibly use it. Hmm. At this point, you don't really need the cape or Yoshi, so if you lose any of the two, you should be fine. So now that we have this item, we could block the thwomps from falling on Mario's head. So the trick is to run exactly right after the thwomp is about to go back up. And this is the room where Bowser Jr. fell from. Again, I have no idea how it happened and why, but whatever. So in this part, make sure you get hit so that you lose the Buzzy Beetle helmet. So we now have the final item. Next we need to go back to the room where the fire flower was. Looks like there's a secret hallway up there, but I wonder how we're gonna get up there. Hmm. So again, this level is quite difficult. If you lose a certain item at certain points, it's best to just restart because you're going to need the time that you're going to waste. So now that we have the spiny helmet, we could not break the ice blocks that were blocking this path. Alright, so all you have to do here is run, and run fast. So we're finally almost done with this level. All we have to do is enter the pipe at the end. And finally, man this level took forever to beat, and it took even longer trying to create it, but oh well. I think it was worth it. So here's the secret bonus area. You can only enter if you're powered up. This building is actually a dance club, but they're closed for the night, which is kind of weird, but oh well, whatever. And that was pretty much it. I'm going to show you the secret area in a bit though. So does this look familiar to you? Or nah? Hey, it's time to party! Even though no one's here, huh. well, except for Yoshi, as you'll see in a bit. This is where the DJ would normally be playing at, if this place was open. Well, I guess Mario's gonna be the DJ for the night.
And there goes Yoshi. Late to the party though, huh? So if you want to download or play this level, just enter the code that's on the screen right now. Alright, so I'll be seeing you guys later on. Bye. And thanks for watching.